everything inside of the hoop house which is just tomatoes planted in ground seems to be growing really really well and i'm happy for it i've already been in here and i watered everything um i was actually looking for my stand when oops my uh, camera stand when i came out here uh it was 80 something degrees today i don't remember um and yesterday so a lot of the things dried out and i wasn't able to get inside of the garden yesterday so i spent about an hour watering everything checking on everything and now i want to show you i just got in a new product i guys i asked you guys i think on my last video about controlling ants because the ants have been a really really big problem um in some of my beds and i feel like they're taking over my garden and so a lot of you guys had well not a lot of you guys but someone had suggested spinocide or spinosad something like that um this is an omri listed ant slash bug killer um that i got and it does tell you like when to not harvest anything and so for like most vegetables it's about between one day to a week and i'm not harvesting anything out of these beds because i'm just planting them um so i just sprinkled it all over my garden i used this whole bag and i'm gonna show you what it looked like so this bed was really really bad and i just lifted it you can see the all the ants moving and so that's why we haven't weeded this bed and i just sprinkled it all in through here and then i went across because i think they're going uh this way so i sprinkled some inside of this in-ground bed as well but i also ordered i think it's i left it in the hoop house i ordered a spinosad just like the liquid um which because i used this whole bag i ordered actually three different products this one was for um this one said for pill bugs um huh where was it oh, okay ear what earwigs cutworms so bugs pill bur pill bugs crickets and ants but it doesn't do fire ants or carpenter ants so i know that i do have fire ants somewhere and so the other um thing i bought was specifically for fire ants and i'm not going i don't think that's omri listed and so that like actually yeah there's a fire ant i think right there crawling around and so for so for the fire ants i am going to sprinkle that not in my garden i'm going to sprinkle that on the outside of my garden and probably um if i see any like in the beds maybe i'll sprinkle it on the outside of my beds i'm not really sure i didn't know where exactly my fire ants were and i'm gonna have to read those instructions again and make sure um if it is for organic gardening or not at this point i just want to get rid of ants because um if not i'm not going to be able to garden in this because they're just taking out i spent so much time at the front in the log or his beds just trying to they were removing the soil out of my out of my log raised beds and putting it on the outside of the beds which in turn was and then it was turning it into just like dust basically because they were building their their uh ant piles and mounds with my soil that i worked so hard like this is one spot so this is a spot that i already sprinkled that stuff and i did try to get the soil for the most part back into the beds but i did sprinkle it on here and we shall see i think it said i believe that it said it starts to kill in 24 hours i'm not sure but we'll have to come back out here and see for sure and then if not i do have that other the liquid one the liquid spinosad that i'll start using um and then i have that other one for fire ants so with that i don't even remember it's been a couple days since i've filmed so i don't remember what where all we left off at 
but in these log raised beds I did you can already see I planted zinnia seeds in all of these holes I planted one in each hole and you can already see that zinnias is starting to uh, pop up in here and so I'm gonna give them probably a week and to pop up and then if they don't I'm gonna come back through here and plant more zinnia seeds but there were a brand new pack of seeds that I just got this year and so I only put one per hole and then after that I did this one and this bed has sunflowers at the beginning and I ran out of sunflower seeds and so then the rest of the bed I put yellow zinnias so that's in here and then this log raised bed I did not plant anything in it yet but on my list I have that I'm supposed to be planting sweet potatoes in that bed and so that is not a it's not a flower bed unless I change my mind and then the only bed left is this one to cover and I haven't covered this bed yet because this has the ants and I'm waiting to kill it I'm trying to think so where that leaves me is so far I've planted 50 tomatoes inside the garden so this bed which I just remembered has ants and that's why I didn't plant this side so I'm gonna have to go and get the rest of my ant stuff because I already see and I think these are fire ants because the ones that I'm seeing are red but this bed is going to be determinate tomatoes and so in the determinate tomato beds I've only planted 12 tomatoes down this 15 foot cattle panel and what my plan is is to have 30 or 24 determinate tomatoes so 12 on one side 12 on the other side and down the middle I might not plant anything in this bed since they're determinate tomatoes and I'm not really going to prune them they're going to bush out and so since I did I only planted one side because this side was not filled with ants I have the other 12 determinate tomatoes just sitting in this bed then this next bed is going to be I think these are bush yeah no not bush these are beefsteak tomatoes so I have the two Cherokee purples my friend gave me and then these are the rest of my um, uh, beefsteak tomatoes and you can see mines are really really small compared to the one that my friend gave me and so I can leave these in here for a while yet I have damsel old German thornsbury terracotta blue beauty Berkeley tie-dye, Tiffin Mennonite, Great White, Gold Metal, Brandywine Pink, and I have Brandywine Black, but it's already planted in there. Black Crim, and then the ones I have in this bed is I have Black Beauty. Um, I really don't know how to say this word, but it's an orange tomato that I grew two years ago, and I really, really loved it. I have a Great Crimson, a Big Rainbow, a Costaluda Genevieve. That's a mystery tomato that I lost a tag for. Dr. Weish's yellow brandywine black that I said already. Uh, what's this? Wisconsin 55. Kellogg's breakfast. Amina. And what is this? Mushroom tomato. My mushroom tomato that I grew last year did so well. I didn't even trellis it because it was uh, one of the tomatoes that I just had, I didn't have a tag and I planted it and lo and behold, it was like the most productive tomato that I had all season last year. So I'm really um, happy to grow that tomato intentionally this year, knowing the name and everything. Um, and then all of the sweet peppers I planted in this bed all seam let's see now I have one right here that doesn't look like it made it and so what I've been doing with um, peppers that what I've been doing with peppers if I come out here and I see a pepper has died because it was like some of them were really little when I transplanted them I just go ahead and stick I have like 30 more pepper plants inside of the hoop house but sometimes I just go ahead and stick in a marigold or a um, what is it called nasturtium 
so that way that bed can have a little bit of flowers in it because i didn't plant any flowers to begin with in that bed but if a pepper dies i just go ahead and plant a flower in there my intention so this bed right here is a cherry tomato bed again we have 15 on this cattle panel and then 15 on this cattle panel so where that leaves us is i bought out all of my plants that um belong in the garden so we have our 30 um these aren't beef steak they're just like a medium size tomato and i bought out all 30 of them and you can see they're still tiny so they have plenty of time to grow in here i bought out the rest of my nasturtiums and okra plants and i'm going to begin planting um those okra inside the bed these are um my winter squashes that germinated my cucumbers that i can in soil blocks that i can begin transplanting and then these are melons but you can see they got leggy because i left them shaded and they sprouted and i didn't remember which is fine all of my melons are gonna go down along this fence right here but the only bed that's ready to go is this bed the rest of these beds this bed's fine but that bed is really weeded and that bed's really weedy oh i see one more that's covered i just noticed that this weed right here is so big and needs to come out and then these are sweet peas i'm pretty sure they're sweet pea flowers i think or cl clematis i think i planted here a few years ago the rest of this matted mess is weeds but i'm not worried about that bed um and then the last bed is my green beans so my pole beans are beginning to sprout on both sides and so are my bush beans the rest of the cattle panels i can't really transplant my cucumbers or like my trombonzino squashes because most of the cattle panels need to be weeded like that's a really big weed so it needs to be weeded before i can go ahead and transplant my stuff same thing with this bed this bed's not as bad but you can see the heck whatever this was pretty sure this is a cucumber last year cucumber bed died and now it's trying to regrow maybe a whole cucumber fell there i just spent some time off camera weeding this bed um because this is a bed that i want to plant cucumbers in i was always i was also looking at my garden layout and i've shared this before i basically um drew every bed that i had in here and put what i'm going to be growing on them so this bed behind me um half of the bed is filled with what is that thing summer savory and it's taking over half the bed these beds were three by six if you were here with me last year and th this year i made them three by 15. so that front part of the bed which is like right there is where i had my spicy peppers last year and now the summer savory has completely taken over so i only have two cattle panels instead of three going down the length of this bed and what i'm going to do is for each cattle panel it's four feet wide i'm going to plant three cucumbers so since this has two cattle panels this is going to be six cucumbers on this side and then this has two cattle panels and i'm going to do three cucumbers on one side and then the other side actually maybe what i was thinking was on the other side i would do trombonzino but now that i'm thinking about it which is a, squ a squash but now that i'm thinking about it i think i'm gonna actually just do six nine twelve twelve cucumbers here and then just call it good so that all my cucumbers are in one spot and then my trombonzinos um plant on the next hoop house the ne not hoop house but the next hoop that i have right here and anaya and nehemiah are weeding that for me so I think I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think I had 16 types of cucumbers. And But some of my favorite were the... Let's see. Bait Alpha last year. Um, 
I also found a tag in this bed so I think all of this is the bed that had all of those cucumbers sprouting and I saw that this salt and pepper tag was buried and so I'm assuming that all of those cucumbers that are sprouting right there are going to be um, salt and pepper unless they got mixed with something. Uh, let's see. There was some tomatoes, I mean some cucumbers in here that I really liked growing last year and that grew for me really really well like the oh tasty green um the bait alpha on c at 76 oh the armenian cube armenian yard long that did really good for me yeah so i'm just gonna plant one or three six six cucumbers what this brown colored stuff is horse manure like so basically it was like horse bedding mixed with manure um and i laid down how many inches probably probably two inches of the horse manure bedding on top of these beds and so when I dig down, well, that's why you see basically this brown. So what I'm trying to do is actually dig down till I see soil. And then I do have a bucket oops, of soil that I have in here because if it takes me too long to dig down, I'm just going to add some of this soil on top. And I also have some all-purpose fertilizer. So this is the perfect example you can see when I move like that first inch or two down there there is actually good soil but on top it's this bedding and dry but when you dig down into the soil it's actually that's really moist. I have a lot of new cucumber varieties that I'm trying this year, like the Norway, the Dell Star, the Dian Dynamite, I think that says. Um, the I think it's called X. What is this called? Expedition. I've never grown that before. Um, and all of those are from Haas Tools. The reason why I'm trying new cucumbers is because although like I had some really great cucumber harvests last year, I want to try cucumber varieties that are going to, um, that they have like disease resistant. And then some of the cucumber varieties that I try, that I'm trying actually doesn't, they're self pollinating and I've never tried, um, that before. So there you go, goal. Some all-purpose fertilizer in there, and then plant this. And I'm gonna come back after I plant all of these and water them in, but I've already watered the soil. So all of these soil blocks are really wet and they worked really well this is my first year growing soil blocks this big because I just got the soil blocker So the only cucumber that I did not plant here was the lemon cucumber and I didn't have any more bushy and I didn't have any space more space master cucumbers because I think I planted them and I planted at least one of them 
I think the bushy, I can't remember if it was the bushy or the space master inside the green stock in front of the um, hoop house and then the other one didn't sprout. So I'm just going to use that name tag and plant it directly probably into this green stock right here. Um, but all of my trailing cucumbers with the exception, like I said, of the uh, lemon cucumber have been planted, at least one of them. And I do still have... So I do still have for about eight more cucumbers in here, but like I said, one of them is the lemon cucumber, but all the other ones, the seven, I already planted. And then I have two trombonzinos right here. Since my girls finished weeding that bed, this is my comfrey. And this is the first year that I've seen it producing these flowers, especially this early. It's so pretty though. But my girls were weeding this bed and they finished weeding this bed. So I think I'm going to come right over and plant the trombonzinos. I just saw a name tag. I want to curious what is it. So I had yellow doll watermelon tea. I didn't see any watermelon sprouts. But this is where I had a yellow doll watermelon last year. And I do still have... Um, I planted yellow doll watermelon again this year. And I did see that two sprouted. But for the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get the two trombonzinos planted on this trellis. With the trombonzino, I'm only going to plant two perch on the trellis because the squat trellis is four feet. And last year when I planted them, they spread it out really, really far. Um, so I'm trying to give them two feet a piece. And I think that's going to be good enough. As I was just preparing this space... I found the two name tags that were planted here last year. The thing I was thinking about was loofah, but I also had trombonzino planted here. So that's funny that I'm putting it back here again. Um, but I got those two planted into the ground. And I think that's it for me transplanting stuff today. Um, the only other thing that would be important to transplant at this moment would be my watermelons. And I think I was going to plant them in, <coughs> I can't remember if it was that log raised bed <coughs> that I don't have covered or the one, the first um, wooden bed. But I don't have either one of those covered with landscape fabric yet. And I want to actually plant or cover them with lands, cover the beds with landscape fabric before I plant in them. And so I'm not going to worry about transplanting my melons right now. But I'm happy that I got the cucumbers and the squash planted and now that tray um everything on that tray is done the only thing that didn't sprout on that tray is kukuzi and since i already have the name tag i could just go ahead and plant stick the name tag and plant the kukuzi right into the ground i want to grow that again and i didn't get any to sprout and i think i planted four seeds so I don't know if it's my seeds, but maybe when I plant it outside, I'll just do two seeds per hole. Anyway, guys, it is dinner time. I'm hungry and thirsty. I'm glad the sun went down, but I will have to catch you guys on my next video when I'm back in the garden. I'm really happy with the, the progress that's being made out here. Um, but it is a lot to plant this whole garden. <laughs> Bye, guys.